All right, so you're probably wondering why I'm outside right now. It's because I'm doing this shoot with this Nikon D60. I have a review on that, and hopefully you like that cinematic stuff in the beginning that I recorded. I also have a video that came out already about how I made my cinematic videos. I really don't know what I'm doing right now, but I'm just trying to get some landscape pictures because hopefully I can post them on Instagram sometime soon. But right now, I think it's a really nice day outside. I put some eye drops in because I'm allergic to pollen. Alright, so I just got finished shooting some things on this Nikon D60. Before I show you guys my gear, which is what the title of this video is for creating my YouTube videos, I need to clean up my room because take a look at all this stuff, this junk here, see on my bed, all that stuff. So I need to get rid of all that before I have to start this. Okay, this is how it looks right now. Alright, now it looks like this. Okay, my gear, my gear. So, what do you consider gear exactly? So gear, I'm just gonna say, is stuff that helps me make my videos. For example, like the cameras, or speakers, or stuff like that. So, it's just gonna be objects that help me with my videos. So this is about everything right here that I use to make my videos. It's pretty simple. Okay, so no individual thing in my setup costs over, I believe, $700. At least, this is the most expensive thing that I have, the Nikon T60. I, I forgot to put the lens cap on. I have it right in my pocket, so. This is the Nikon D60. It's really old. It's from 2008. I just shoot some photos with it like you guys saw earlier. So that's what it's used for. Oh yeah, before I forget, I'm sorry that I'm not using my microphone right now. The Rode Video Micro to record any of the audio and it's the, just the default microphone because the Mac that I'm using is currently in use. But this is the Rode Video Micro. Speaking of microphones, you guys know the deal about this. My experience with the Rode Video Micro. You guys can check that out in the link in the description down below. I made a video about that. And then the other microphone that I use back here is this Blue Snowball microphone. It's just a sit down microphone pretty much. I use it to record maybe voiceovers or go on vo video calls and all that. So I still use it in my videos. All right, so another key important thing in my setup is this thing right here. It may not look like much, but it's basically a four USB port connected to this USB port right here. So it allows me to plug it into my computer and easily access, like these are my mouse and keyboard chips. If I need to plug in a microphone or another something else to so this, it's just very convenient. I'll leave a link in the description for where you can buy these. So it's just really easy for me. Another thing I have is this JBL charge speaker. It's a really convenient speaker instead of having two speakers on either side and you can take it anywhere it's very portable it can connect to pretty much any device you want via bluetooth so i just use it during the editing process this right here is the ubi size tripod right there i use it for my phone because it has this and yeah it's just really easy you can bend it around places it's a really convenient tripod that i like to use this is my sd card converter so it's basically a USB plug-in thing, and I plug it into the, either the Mac or the Chromebook that I use. Yeah, it helps me just read all the SD cards. I have an SD card on my phone right now, and I have an SD card right here too. So, And then here is this GoPro charger. And speaking of GoPros, I have two GoPros here. The GoPro Hero 1 original GoPro, kind of broken a little bit. And then I have the GoPro Hero 4 Silver. It has a nice screen in the back, but they're still good for other angles. And then this is just the charger that I charge the GoPro Hero 4 battery in, the dual battery charger, and it's just easy to charge. And then right here are these nice pair of headphones from One Audio, right there. So these pair of headphones I can edit with or I listen to things with, put it on your head and it doesn't block out all the sound completely. It's like the transparent mode on your AirPod Pros. So these two are pretty important as well. And this also, this is my earbuds that I use sometimes for editing. If it's just something that I don't want to put on the headphones and maybe I'm not feeling it that day, I use these earbuds. Also, it's this keyboard that I use, this Logitech keyboard. I think it's like one of the really basic ones. As I said before, it's a, I use the USB chip for it and I just use it for editing all of my videos. And then this right here is this mouse. It's really, really nice. I've had it for a long time. It also runs on USB. It's another Logitech mouse. I'm not exactly sure what. And 
my main video camera is my phone right here. As you guys are seeing, this is the quality of the selfie cam, and hopefully I can get another DSLR in the future, like I always mention in every single one of my videos. But what is holding this up right now is, here I'll show you. What was holding this thing up right here was this big tripod. It can extend all the way down here. I believe this is like three and a half feet probably. So I basically just put my phone in this slot. So like this, so I'm putting my phone in the slot. You screw on the screw. And then just like that, you have your setup. And then also back here is my monitor. Right now it's playing a screensaver. I use it to edit all my videos. I have another HDMI cable too. That's what I have right now. And I use a 13 inch to early 2013 MacBook Pro to edit all my videos. So it's pretty old, but it gets the job done anyway. That was all my gear. It's very simple. I think I should be in the future investing in some other things, possibly a better camera, lenses, other things like that. But yeah, guys, that was it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.